Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Odyssey, of course, and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 video. Holy shit, it's a long time ago. And uh, what is it, maybe three months since I stopped playing? And uh, I've gotten a lot of messages saying, hey, Andrew, you, you really should give Battlefield 4 another try. A lot of honest messages, and that's actually why I tried it again. I got a couple before, like, said, hey, Anders, everything is fixed, and I was like, yeah, no, it's not, no way. But a lot of messages say, Anders, it, it's, it's kind of fixed, I mean, like, you're gonna be able to enjoy it again, but there's still some issues with it and there definitely is uh, after playing about one and a half hours I didn't have more time it's it's Sunday right now when I'm recording this and uh, when I recorded the footage this was the best match I could get I was playing the new uh, oh god the DLC maps holy crap it's not second assault but uh, during second assault that's when I actually stopped playing oh god sea war no naval warfare or something like that who gives a head fucking modern warfare for all I could care but I'm playing a little bit with the, the ghoul sniper and I think the M1911 with a suppressor on it I like it it's a nice setup and uh, this map I don't even remember what it's called this is the first time I even play it on this video and I, th I thought I did pretty well even though it was the first time so I thought I'd, ah, fuck it let's just show it off I did a little bit better in some other matches but uh, it wasn't uh, I wasn't super happy with those videos they were a little bit too long and I felt like ah oh, god I don't want to edit out everything otherwise it kind of sucks but anyways, I've been on a vacation for a week, that's why there's been literally no videos, or, yeah, there's been literally no videos for lo the last, like, three days, but that's why there hasn't been any variety of videos, it's mostly been Day Said and CSGO videos, since those are easier to record in advance, I, I can record them, like, three weeks in advance and upload them one by one if I need to, and usually it takes at least a week to record a week's worth of those videos anyways, or sometimes even more when it comes to they said but yeah so I'm giving Battlefield 4 another try like I said it, it's playable it's not like I'm gonna play a bunch I think I'm still gonna play Day said and Counter-Strike a bit more but I feel like it's it's good enough right now so I won't get frustrated and angry I will actually have a little bit fun playing it just to get a couple of videos a week of it uh, I'm not gonna promise too much I mean shit I can get sick of it quickly and, and stop making videos of it again uh, so, so so don't get your hopes up too much but but for now I'm, I'm having a good time enjoying myself uh, don't haven't noticed is too much of the laggy stuff like getting shot around the corners and that kind of stuff been quite little of that so I'm, I'm really happy about that so that, that feels nice and overall it, it feels it feels definitely better than I than when I quit when second assault just released and uh, I really want to get back to battlefield and uh, yeah I don't know like I feels like this is the right time to do it so like I said I've been on vacation me and four of my mates went to Las Palmas and on the Canary Islands we've been getting shit faced every Every day uh, or every night and every day we've been sunbathing, bathing in the ocean, uh, seeing the sights, uh, looking at a lot of boobs and a couple of penises too. We went past the nudist part of the beach, so much penis, holy shit, there were dicks as far as the eye could see and there was also a gay beach right next to the to the nude beach there were a lot of wieners hanging out and, and men holding hands it was I mean like you guys know me I don't have anything against gays but it, it feels weird seeing them walking around hand in hand naked that's not something you see in Sweden every day so kinda took a little bit getting used to because I kinda felt a little bit uncomfortable sad to say it because really I shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable about that, it should be something I'm used to, but it's not, <laughs> trust me, <laughs> there's not many gay guys walking around naked around my house, <laughs> mostly because it's so goddamn cold in Sweden most of the year, so even if there were gay guys that wanted to go around naked holding hands, they really couldn't, I don't know, how did this turn into gay guy talk, it wasn't even supposed to be that, so a little bit about the, the trip, uh, started off with uh, taking the car actually here from Östersund where I live in Sweden, kind of in the middle of Sweden, going actually over the border to Norway, next to Trondheim, using the airport right right outside Norway, or not Norway, <laughs> right outside Trondheim, one of the cities in Norway that is closest to the Swedish border, and also closest to where I live, Östersund, like I said, and we took Norwegian Air, or whatever it's called, and my friend, the secret editor man, or as you guys also might know him, the other Anders, he told me that they had the nicest, newest fleet, most modern planes, and whatever, and 
it, it would be really nice planes, he told me. The planes were really nice, they looked very new. <laughs> but holy shit, those motherfuckers have really engineered those planes to fit as many people in there as possible. I felt like cattle. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a big guy, but I'm not some huge freakish monster. I'm 193 centimeters tall, I'm about 120 kilograms. I mean, I'm, I'm a big guy, no question about it, but... Holy shit, I felt like a sardine in a can in that goddamn plane and my my knee still hurts from having the seat of the people in front of me pushed into my knees even though I tried my best to like almost I almost sat on top of the seat <laughs> like I could not move anything forward and uh, when when the people came by and or the cabin person personnel or, or the flight attendants whatever you want to call them and asked if we wanted to buy some beer or some water or anything like that I said I wanted water and they wanted money for it and I was like what the fuck are you kidding me because you know what I paid to get one meal on that flight I paid 221 Swedish kroner that's like 35 euros I mean don't get me wrong, the food was good, but I don't want to have to pay for a bottle of water when I have already paid over 200 Swedish kronor for, for the fucking meal. You should get the water for free for God's sakes. I mean, like, what kind of a world do we live in? I mean, shit, that's just, that's just sad in my opinion. And that wasn't even the worst thing about it. The seats were literally so fucking cramped. We're talking about not super bad seats, like, don't get me wrong here, I'm a big guy, I'm 193 centimeters tall, I'm 120 kilograms, so I'm a big fucking dude. And I get that, they can't make all of the seats comfy and big and nice, so I people like I can fit in them, because, face it, I'm a min minority, like maybe 10% of Swedish people are as big as me, the rest are smaller. Not too many people would have to have big seats like that, so I can get that, but they were so small that I couldn't physically move and get my wallet out of my pants to pay for the water so I would have died of starvation I was about to say but dehydration literally if that plane ride was longer and I did not bring that bottle of water myself from the airport before getting on the plane so yeah Norwegian Airlines holy shit you guys fucking suck almost as bad as Ryanair and also way worse than SUS. Uh, SUS airplanes is basically the Swedish airplane company or whatever you want to call it, airliner. In general, people say it's pretty crappy, not very good, but I gotta hand them to them. There was a little bit more space for the legs. I mean, I'm, we're talking like one centimeter here, not a lot of space, but about one centimeter more. But the seats, way thicker. We're talking about like at least a decimeter, that's like three inches of seat cushion on a SAS plane. And on the Norwegian Airlines plane, it was literally one inch, two and a half centimeters. It was bone hard. The same thing with the, with the backrest. It was even smaller. You could literally, you could so easily tell that <laughs> these guys designed this plane to fit as many motherfuckers on there as possible, to make as much money as possible. I mean, I, I get that they need to make money, but shit, I mean, god damn, that's just bad. And the toilets. My god, people on the fucking airplanes? Why do they have to go to the toilet all the goddamn time? The, the plane ride was six hours. I went to the toilet once on the way home to take a piss. I don't know how many people went to the toilet, but out of maybe 200 of the plane, at least 60 people had to go to the toilet. Or maybe more. I don't know. It was always a line of three or four people at the toilet. And my poor friends, they sat right next to the toilet. Me and my brother, we were more lucky. We were kind of in the middle of the plane. And that only sucks when you're about to go off the plane. Because you have to wait until everyone else has gone off. You basically leave the plane lost. Entering the plane doesn't really matter. Because the plane takes off at a certain time. So you can sit and wait in the airport until like there's literally only two people left in the line. And then you go to the line and you can step right onto the plane without having to wait until some motherfucker has finished putting his shit in, in the in the luggage department o o above but yeah anyways <laughs> that's, that's that's the plane ride i know it's a little bit like whiny but i just felt like getting that off my chest other than that 
holy shit, so much fucking fun shit, I have to tell you guys about the trip, oh my god. I'm gonna try to, to space it out nicely in the coming weeks or something like that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier during the video, <laughs> I'm a little bit off right now since this is literally the first day back. I've just had uh, a good night's sleep in my own bed, so I feel a lot better now, but... It was so much fun and I am looking forward to make a lot more videos for you guys to enjoy or at least I hope you guys will enjoy them. And as usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.